twenty no today is first December. The time is three thirty six. Uh, Saturday. Uh, let's try to answer one critical question. Um, the difference. Bit application and sixty four bit application. So, this is something we uh, we are not that used to, especially if like uh, you don't do thing, you don't do your installations. You are not that used to whether you have to care about the two bit or whether you have to care about the uh, sixty-four bit. This is in simple things. We want to see what they are, then the differences, and then which one should you go for. Uh, so first of all, this is a thirty-two bit application. It's a sixty-four bit application. What does it mean? Like sixteen bit application, eight bit application. So in short, if you take the computer, the way it stores information is a bit complicated. But let's try and then simplify it. In short, for example, if you type there, if you type there, or let's say if there is on your hard disk and then computer has to pick the word there to your memory That's definitely for display so that we can see computer cannot take the whole day yes it's unfortunate computer cannot take the whole day T H E three letter word computer can, uh, like uh, three letter yeah three character word uh, three letter word. computer cannot take the whole T H E from hard disk to memory or from like hard disk to wherever it has to take it to computer take them bit by bit small 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 so that is the whole concept of bit so the T every letter or every character is made up of eight bits there are standards different standards so we are talking of one standard here called ASCII uh, if I say standard what I mean is this this institution or this ideology will say let's represent character this way this school to school of thought would say let's represent this this way this what so that is what i mean by those standards so we have the ASCII, a uh, american standard for information interchange or something like that so um yes cii so this is it uh, what is wrong my network so that is ASCII, uh, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So that is that is it. Now, if you are using, if a computer is designed based on this standard, what it means is, if you type T H E, the computer will use small, small, small spaces. Let's. Uh, Let's open Excel. It's some way, but if you are able to grab this concept, a whole lot of software installations and other error messages we see will, will make sense. Now, these are cells for typing information. So let's see if you type the like uh, the boy is going to school. We know it's in G. 
yes but completely didn't store it in one place like that like how we just put everything here no that's not how computer did it the t just the t actually is spread over one two three four five six seven eight cells just the t so this alone represents the t eight of that small small cells the h the same way the h also the same way and then the e also the same way this is how the computer stores its information using the the ASCII standard and for these eight the T is actually stored at seven of them. The seven of them is actually what is the T or what uh, holds the T. Now, the last one is to check whether there is problem with T or there's no problem with T, like error. So, it's like the error bit that is the error cell so but the whole eight is what holds the letter T so if your computer is able and you know they are called cells so here is a cell this is a cell this is a cell this is a cell this is a cell up to the last one this is also a cell so the T eight cells holds the T eight cells another eight cells holds H another eight cells holds E so that is it the E is displaying here for us to see but inside the computer the eight is cut into pieces called bits so seven of the bit or like eight of the bit if you factor the error will hold the t the same way eight of the bit will hold that including error like error detector or like error code or like error bit will hold the age and then the another eight of the cells will hold the, the, the e so just to be able to save the t h e you need eight times three this is eight this is eight this is eight so if you check and then you get eight um, times three 64. now if let's say it is that we want to store so here is a and then here is um let's take another one another t so if we want to store that eight of the cells will hold T, another eight will hold H, and in that way, and that gives us thirty-two of the cells. Thirty-two of the cells. Each cell is called bits. Each cell is called bit. If you open the computer, you know see these things I'm talking about. And that is from the architectural level. That is how the processor is designed. That is how the hard disk is designed. That is how the memory is designed. So this is at the engineering level. So this is how the information is saved. If you type T H A T like that the T will go and then occupy to be split to convert it into base 2 technically and then it will be the base 2 numbers will be stored in each of those cells so now if um, 
we are to move T H E T H A T to the screen so that the one who type it can see it. If it's a computer that at a go at once it can copy the T H A T then that means it has actually it's been able to copy things in 32 of those cells then that computer is called a 32 bit computer and if that computer can only copy T one character at a go like just T come and display T one pick H come and display H one pick A come and display A one pick T come and display T then that computer is called 8 bit architecture or like 8 bit computer that means it's only able to pick 8 of those cells information in 8 of those cells is what the computer is able to pick at once like at a go so it has to go come back go come back go come back that way if you are lucky and the computer can pick T and H at a go, come and display it, then go and pick a uh, AT, come and display it. Then that means the computer is 16 bit. Uh, 16 bit. And it's, it's 16 bit, but this is 8, this is 8. So it can pick this and this at a go, and then that means it's 16 bit. If it can pick T H A T, that is this one is H, this is A, this is A, this is A. So that makes it 32 bit computer. If for a reason, let's say we double this. Let's see um the bot now B O Y i s g o. so like that boy is going to let's say school so if you want to display uh, this on the screen then a computer that can pick t h a t four at a go then it's 32 bit because each each one is eight if you can pick just two then it is 32 uh, it is 16 bit if you can just pick one then that means it is eight bit now two three four is 32 so if you add another four then that is 64. so if for example we have this article Okay, let's see we have um let's copy from here so i want if i want to display this like how we get displayed on the screen before this happen the computer can only display it there is a computer that can display only two two like this way so what actually happen is it will pick am go and pick er and then when it can it will be connecting them together and it will be forming the center and then there you can get a computer that can um when it go it can pick uh, four another four another four another four another four let's see this one out so another computer can pick them this way there is another computer you can get that can pick uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means when it goes, it can just pick the whole of the America once and then come and pick. just you know, take it like if you are moving blocks for building from one place to another. Someone will go, he'll be able to pick just one, and then another will go two, and then come. Someone will go like four, someone will go nine, if possible, eight. So that is it. So if there is a computer that can pick eight at a go, then that computer is uh, if you do calculation, 
eight. Don't forget um, each of the eight is actually eight cell. The T alone is eight cell. So in this case, America. It will bring America. Let's say we have America here, so here will be A, so here will be M, here will be A, here will be R, here will be I, here will be C, here will be A, and whatever follows. It's just for presentation purpose, this one got spaces, these ones are not getting spaces, but it doesn't change anything. You can take out the spacing and just for presentation purpose. In the architecture there are no spaces so let's see if we have it this way but if let's say you're typing something like america space that space is in itself is also another eight cells so if we have this if you have a computer i'm repeating 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 because of how uh, it, the concept is very key if you miss it you miss a lot of what computer is about at the basis level so for example if you have a computer that can take uh, am go and display it of starting from just it will take a go and display it to take b um m go and display it to take e it will take r it will take r. so like if it's to display this to the user it will go eight times so then it picks it one 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 then that computer is eight bit computer and it is eight because that e is stored in eight cells and these cells are technically called bits so the a is stored in eight bits and i said earlier it's actually stored in seven bits then the eighth bit is to check to be monitoring it for error whether it's save it is store it well or not so and how you see like i said is the a is actually converted to base two and how is that done there is a table every letter has its corresponding number so like a the corresponding number is let's say 25 so if you check the um ascii table if you check the ascii table so um this will this can make sense Wow, can we find A, B, C, D? Additional reference material. I don't think this is what we need. Now let's see this. This is it. Uh, 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 ASCII table. Okay, I think this is okay. So, if you look at from here, the A, B, C, D, the A is this here, this man. Okay, so this man has a character. Okay, so that's it. So, M, this man has character. This man and then the first character. What are you telling me? Let me see, 65, 65, okay, so, A, the corresponding number for A is 65, so if you want to store A on your computer, the, the computer will do a lookup, it will match A, then it will go to this table. A correspond to which number? Okay, then it will tell you A correspond to um, 65 in Desma. This is the character, and it corresponds to 65 <coughs> in Desma. Then it will change 65 to base 2. Now, when you change 65 to base 2, then you get uh, starting from here, uh, like maybe it can be like 001, and this is 
now there can be two zero one 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 i'm just assuming so this is it now m what is m so we have m then it will do a lookup what is m m is 77 okay let, let's actually do the conversion so we can see uh, what we mean m calculate so um let's say we need program calculator so um can we change 65 to uh, it's two to binary so this is it so we can copy and then um so that is it here so it is one zero 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 final one is one and then if you count it uh, is one two three four five six seven good so the final one is here that is the one so it's actually seven one two three four five six seven this is it and then the the last one i said is for error and then that will add to make it eight but it's actually added at the right side so this all this one will shift and then um, that zero will come here to to fill up the the eight so that is it now m let's see m uh, if you go to google and then ascii so m is the equivalent is 77 so if you go to our calculator and then we type 77 let's go to base 10 type 77 and change it to this so if we copy this to excel so definitely here will be like our first zero then we have one zero zero one then e computer will go on e e e e e for elephant is 69 so then the computer will do conversion 69 then to change it to base 2 and then that will give us this um let's do it this way so that we can be a bit faster let's shift this one here and then our calculator calculator this is it so we can move that one to, to this side yeah. so that is, is 77 oh, what did I type so e e is 69 so e 69 so we search for the program so this is 69 change it to base 2 and that will give you um, 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 and 0 1 so then America we are still there then R R has R and take note there is difference between capital and then small if uh, here was to be like small m i wouldn't have searched for uh, 77 small m is 109 so it's 109 i'll rather convert to base 2 so that is it let's assume we've gotten the concept so this is how a computer does everything if it's paragraph this is what it will have to go to if it's a full book if type this is what the computer will go through now and if it's space you say america space uh, let's say i s so the space tool has its code and if you come here she see um this is now start cancel has a code escape has a code and um, let's see so um space bar so for space um 
Let's see. Number 32. So let's see. Um, where is that we pop in? Uh, this is it. So we can search for 32. So that is the 32. So 32 will be converted to base 2. So 32, and then you convert it to base 2. And that is uh, 100, the others are 5. So that is space here. So it will actually be 0, 1, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Five zeros one, so that is even six. They are six degrees, so that means it will begin with two zeros, then um, one, then zero, zero. So this is this will represent the space. Before you move on to I, then you come and check for I two. Uh, I think it's a bit slow now. So, but that is it. This is how the computer will be storing the number, the paragraph. If it's video, the same. It has a way to convert it to base two, and if it has to display, it will reverse what it has done. So, a computer that is able to only take one at a row, like only A, that means it can only take this, interpret it get an, a real figure let's say 65 and then go and do a check in the ascii table 65 what does represent is a then you come and display a go back uh, take this one convert it to base 10 and then go and do a check in the ascii table get like it is m display m one at a time that computer as i've said is eight bit and if it can take two interpret it display and then go back take two then that computer is called a 16 bit computer if it can take four at a time then that computer is called 32 bit computer and it's 32 because each one is eight so four of them will be 32 and that means if it can take eight one two three four five six seven let's apply the space making eight then that computer is called 64 bits computer so basically that is that is how 32 64 bits is so technically what it means is 64 bits will be faster than 32 that's all I think all things being equal let me put it that way just 64 because if 64 goes it will be able to take eight of the characters come and display them this one will go to take only four characters come and just to come and then display on the screen 30, uh, 16 bits because that can only go and take two they are gradually fading they are gradually fading and you only encounter them sometimes at the uh, if your work has to do with the actual computer going down 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 uh, assembly programming let me put it that way then you'll be encountering those 64 uh, 16 bit a lot other than that while you softwares you'll be installing basically it will be either 64 or 32 and that is the operating system you'll be installing it will be 64 or it be 32 so that is that is how is basically so ideally if your computer supports and these things are in two ways just like there are 32 bit computers 64 bit computers there are 32 bit softwares 64 bit softwares so it moves hand in hand there are 16 bit computers there are 16 bit softwares there are 8 bit computers there are 8 bit uh, softwares if your computer 
is 64 bit software you can install all the lower versions like softwares of the lower versions on your computer but it's not the other way around what i mean is if you have a computer that is 32 bit architecture or the design is 32 bit you cannot install a software that is 64 bit on it a software that picks four eight things at a go and your computer only allows four things at a go you can't do it that way the same way if your computer is system bit architecture you can't install 32-bit architecture on it but the reverse works that means if your computer is 64-bit you can install 32-bit on it you can install 16-bit on it uh, will it allow 16-bit no to not allow but it will allow 32-bit uh, software the system is too old so we didn't factor that one in the 64 I, I I hope my guess is right and yeah, let's check it out since we have shape Google so install um, system bit on 64 bit install version on 32 bit Let's see this from Cora to run this in between 24 bit. Can't. The answer is you can't. And who is saying it? Kelvin McDonnell. And then he's a senior developer consultant by day, a hobbyist programmer by night. Let's see if he has some credentials. He has answered 881 questions. 888 questions he has answered. He has 127 followers. He's stuck on 32. And then, so basically, I think he's someone mm -hmm. we can rely on. And if you want to know whether you can do it or not, if you search and they are telling you to install some software first before you can install the system bit, then that means the 64 does not support it. 30, for 32 it supports but for 8 I know it won't but 16 is the one I'm guessing and I think it will not allow it it will not allow it uh, no it, it will not allow it but you can do those further checks there are ways around it like kind of uh, call like emulators it's like uh, your machine is 64 then you install a structure like system structures, system for system bit architecture style, style in it, and then you install your application in that style, not in the 64 itself, like in that style. For example, if later you want to run uh, Android applications on your laptop, uh, the operating system is not for Android, so it won't work. But you can install a software on your computer that will behave like an android environment and then in that way you can install the android software in that fake android environment not in the computer itself but in that fake android so basically for those things you can go around it so ideally if you are going to search for computer it's, it's best you ask for 64 bit architecture because you don't lose anything if you come out with the software 32 you can install it if it's 64 you can install it you will not get the uh, system bit application again unless you are that low level programmer or like uh, administrator that you that low level software that you'll be needing those other than that for the average people like us <laughs> 32 and 64 you are okay to to go so that is the two it basically goes down to how computers are able to move information from one place to another 
or like when they are seeing you know, how many they can copy at the goal. This is too cheek it's technical, but I hope they have been able to explain it uh, to let's say with common English or like uh, ground zero English for for us to understand. And aside just being fast over the thirty two um I once re read somewhere that the DLS, like the design of the 64 bit, is also more secured than the 32. So, security wise, people even people also recommend you go for the 64 uh, because the design actually factored more security things than the 62. And if you still want to read around, you can read around the DLS, like the DLLs of the 64 are more secure than the, the 32 uh, it makes sense because the more the world moves the more security things are featured in software that are developed so that is the difference between the 64 and then 32 and if you want to check your computer which one you are using you just go here and then uh, you right click and then you go to properties and then you can see it here uh, 64 bit operating system and then 64 bit processor that means my processor is 64 and the operating system is also 64 so basically that is that is it for um, 32 bit and then 64 bit and just keep in mind it's at the hardware side uh, that that classification classification then the software side too there's that same classification that it has to match you can't miss them so basically um somewhere 2009 i heard like uh, 128 is coming out like 128 bit processor but up to now <laughs> about let's say we are heading to 10 years now i've not uh, like practically i've not seen anyone using a uh, 128 bit processor in that case what that means is uh, instead of being able to pick eight at a goal to be able to pick 16 letters at a goal and if you calculate 16 by 8 um, 16 by 8 that should give you the 128 bit processor that means you can pick one but I've about eight years like over nine years now I've not seen it so basically like, that is it for this story it's been some way but I hope that there are one or two senses in it um, so that is it different between 16 uh, 32 bit and then uh, 64 bit and i would recommend you always go for the 64 bit uh, software and then like in hardware to the architectures or the computers you go you just go for 64 that's all so bye